Hello everyone and welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians challenge here in The Sims 3 with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content and we are here with old lady Perdita in front of the family barn and I was just noting how odd it was to see the little dinosaur skeleton right behind her. You better be uh, not indicating anything about how old Perdita is getting dinosaur skeleton. She can still move those old bones. She's got plenty of days left. She better at least because many of you guys have actually reminded me of the fact that I I kind of forgot to fully train Perdita up as well. So if I want any of her puppies, any of the first set of the challenge puppies to actually count for my own self-imposed challenge, then Perdita and Ponga are gonna have to make sure that they know all of their tricks before they pass away. But we should have a good long while with them just yet. It looks like Perdita is kind of pushing Pongo out on being a little bit older, but she should be okay enough and we should be able to make sure that they're fully trained before, before they go to the doggy play yard in the sky. But we're not going to worry about that today because today, my friends, is actually Leisure Day! Leisure Day is here! Enjoy the warm weather, take a dive into the pool, or take a stroll around the summer festival. Leisure Day is a day where you can take a break from work or school and relax. And we are going to actually do that with our Sims today because it has been one drama and exhausting, like, exhausting sad event after another. And there's been lots of exhaustion and lots of tragedy at losing Lyra and still the fact that they have been orphaned for so long. And then and the frustration of trying to make sure that Nissa is fully trained, but guess what, you guys? Nissa is not only fully trained, but she is now expecting puppies. She is pregnant, so she will be having an unknown number of puppies. And I'm hoping before they're born in a day or two. I think it's going to be about another two days game time before they're born. But before they're born, I'm hoping we'll be able to get her lifetime reward points back up. That same thing that we had to do last time so that she could get the quick learner skill. But we're going to see if we can get the fertility treatment for her by getting her lifetime rewards up. And I was actually thinking, you remember when Pongo got sick? Oh, Pongo, where are you? Pongo, you have so many points. What are you even going to do with all these points, Pongo? Here, I'm going to have Pongo actually go ahead and sniff Rye because I think Rye would actually enjoy having, uh, having the dog come over and say hello to him. So we're going to go ahead and let that happen. In fact, I think, yeah, he wants to socialize with another animal. So we'll start off with some horse dog socialization first thing in the morning over here at the animal rescue. But uh, yeah, I think what I want to do in the future, because Pongo got sick and thankfully the clown music glitch didn't stick to him the way it did Rolly. And we had to get rid of Rolly because the glitch was just making this huge, loud clown music play nonstop anywhere Rolly went. That got fixed. Oh, and Pongo, you definitely need a bath, buddy. Look at that stink cloud. Cloud. But I was thinking in the future, after we have a veterinarian come in with Tisha being the vet, it would be really, really fun to uh, go ahead and all of those fertility treatments and everything else that we can give the animals. I'm not sure, can horses have fertility treatments? Like maybe the still bladder for pets or, you know, the things that take care of their health. Um, the self-cleaning, oh, maybe the self-cleaning box stall and stuff like that. If they go visit a vet, then they could get some of those kinds of things. So I think that would be really, really fun if we could go ahead. A celestial salt lick just sounds amazingly hilarious. But if we'll go ahead and in the future, we might make it so that to activate that lifetime reward, then the dog would actually have to go, like if they wanted never nauseous, they'd have to go to the vet. And then after we went to the vet and they had enough points, they'd be able to get that. We're not gonna do that right now, but I just thought it would be a really fun challenge for the future. But for today, there's not really any challenges. We are just waiting on the puppies. Nissa, are you eating enough? Are you doing well? Nissa, are you okay? Nissa, did you just, did you do that, Nissa? Oh my gosh. Why is there water there? Nissa, what are you doing? <laughs> Nissa, go ahead and eat. She's so startled about something. Does she need somebody to come down? A new planet! <gasps> Emma just discovered a new planet looking for her sister. Oh, that's so sweet. So Emma has discovered a new planet. And let's see, 199 Simulonians. Um, Let's go ahead and we're going to name it the uh, Lyra Light because... <laughs> Because poor Emma misses her sister so much. Oh my goodness, what's this? Master Magician. Hmm. I think you're okay, sweetie. So Emma has just gained some more of the logic skill because she's standing out here searching for her sister at <laughs> searching for her sister in the sky. And I think that's going to kind of pull at Terry's heartstrings. Also, he does want to play some music. So you know what? We're gonna do oh, why are you feeling calm? from checking the sink. Oh, she's feeling a little bit, a little bit nervous about everything. Uh, tastes like chicken. 
I have no idea what she ate. Victory, it appears, tastes just like everything. I have no idea. Maybe she was messing with the chickens. All right, we're going to send the whole family over to the Leisure Day Festival. I think that's what I'm going to do. Meredith is awake too. I don't know what she's doing, rummaging around. Maybe she's thinking about the fact she needs to turn her imaginary friend into a real person using the imaginary friend potion at some point. And I'm not sure if Andrea would actually come with us. I feel like maybe Andrea is into painting today. So since we know that Nissa is doing okay, are you doing okay? Okay, sweetie. Yeah, she's getting some food. Since we know she's doing okay, we're going to go ahead and take the whole family over to celebrate this summer festival. I think that would be very, very fun. Um, Let's see, 300 points, 500 points. And you know what? Maybe we'll take Andrea too. This might be like one of our last big hurrahs with the whole family together before they start going and becoming adults and going down their different side stories. So one second, I'm going to get them over to the summer festival. I fib. We actually didn't go to the summer festival. I kind of looked it over and thought about it, and then I decided to go ahead with a different idea instead. We have actually brought Tisha, Emma, and Terry, as well as Nissa and Basil, who are busy playing together, so they seem like they are very, very happy to be here, over to a campsite. So they're actually over at this beautiful camp next to a waterfall that a lot of you guys would probably recognize from our Warrior Cat series. So this is Star Falls from our Warrior Cat series, but today it is just a nice little campsite that we have actually brought Tisha, Terry, Emma, and two of the dogs, the current generation of the family heirs, basically, Basil and Nissa, over here to play. So they're just going to have a really nice relaxing day here at the par or at the uh, like little campsite. And if you're wondering just where the heck they are, so they're over here. And if you come all the way down here, then here's where the farm is. So here is our extra lot. This is where the animal rescue is. It's huge, by the way. I am so proud of it. That is just amazing. One day in the far future, I could totally see like the Radcliffe Dearly family buying this lot over here and like turning it into a, a horse ranch or a farm or something. That would be pretty awesome. Or maybe a rocket ship like launching area. I don't know. Who knows where the future of this family is going to go. It's going to be awesome to see. But they're way up here and they're going to hopefully have have a really good day just camping today and I decided to do that oh and by the way where's Terry Terry's doing some rock climbing isn't this awesome I am so proud of this little area but he needs to gain some athletic skill so I'm saying he's doing some kind of like free form rock climbing I'm gonna have him train over here and he's doing free form rock climbing to hopefully train up some of his athletic skill since that's something that he does need to do if he ever wants to be a proper daredevil and also I think it's his way of channeling some of his frustration and anger that he wasn't able to protect his family the way he really wanted to. And what is this? Meredith is teaching herself how to cook back at the house. Well, we're going to have to leave Meredith be, but she just did something where she made freshly baked calzones. That's not even an easy thing. She just jumped right into the deep end with that. I'm getting the sense that lately, Meredith, she's been asking Tisha a lot about how to take care of kids. She's been cleaning a little bit more. She's been like looking at the bills. She's even been looking at how to take care of the animals. She wants to get promoted. I have the feeling that while her siblings may be like, yes, Meredith is finally on board with being mature and growing up, she's actually thinking about how to become independent. Pendant. So that's my that's my theory. And up here we have a drop dead gorgeous painting that uh, Andrea is working on. That's why she didn't come with the family. But the people at the house are just going to have to take care of house things because we're going to spend the rest of the day focusing on Tisha and her building a relationship with little Emma over here. Hopefully they can have some fun. Emma wants to catch an insect. The dogs are having a good time. She also wants to play catch. Terry, didn't you steal my ball? Yeah, he's got the, the football, so I'm going to give Tisha the football. And then I'm going to let her... Oh, yeah, and then I did bring ta -da, a picnic set. So they're going to have a whole picnic. Like, they're going to have a really nice day. They even have sprinklers. That's how over-the-top Tisha is going to be with it because she wants to make sure Emma has a good time. Are you really starting a water balloon fight? Oh, that's so playful, Emma. So they seem like they're having a good time. Nissa seems like she's having a pretty good time. Some Sims seek to train a few carbs, uh, trim a few carbs so that they'll look good in a bathing suit, whereas others see health fitness as a 24-7 lifestyle choice. It's time to invest in some athletic equipment. Terry now has the option to avoid breaking a sweat while exercising. There you go, Terry. So Terry is like really ridiculously nasty already because he's already got no hygiene. But um, let me see. Where the heck, Terry? Oh, gosh, you're doing horrible in school, by the way, kid. There it is. But he has just started his athletic skills. 
skills. So hopefully he'll be able to start developing that. And I think that's going to be really good for him because he needs athletic and logic. There you are, Terry. I was wondering where you went. He needs athletic and logic if he is going to be able to uh, go on those adventures down in the little hole, which I really want him to do. But I also think this kind of like practicing his muscles and really becoming stronger, it's going to make him feel better for everything that happened to his family and the sense of like helplessness goes away when you can at least feel physically stronger. So that's what Terry is doing over there. And then what do we have going on down here? Nissa is freaking out for no reason. <gasps> There's things for the dogs to dig up. Nissa, Nissa, come over here. Come over here. There's little dog dig spots and you come dig this up. Basil, Basil, come dig this other one up. And let's see what the dogs have found. I didn't even know these were back here. How fun. Wow, Terry is like improving his athletic. No problemo. There's also some fun fish in the background. So we might try. Hang on. I got to get this really good. Really good. Back up. There we go. Basil, good job. Good boy, Basil. Good boy digging up all that cool stuff. Nissa, you're constantly startled, aren't you? Are you guys going to find treasure? Nissa, your eyes look so freaky from over here. The couple who digs for treasure together are happy puppies together, I suppose. Basil, what'd you find? Did you find anything? Did you find a rainbow gem? Nissa found a gem. Oh, Basil found something interesting. All right. And Andrea apparently has also developed some cooking skills. So the kids are becoming a little bit more independent now that they are teenagers. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll just have Basil sniff out some collectibles while we're over here. And this is a little bit skish. So we'll just have the dogs kind of explore the area. It's so surreal to go from the huge big family we normally are managing to just a couple members. Oh, look, and there's Buzzberry over here. Sweet. We can probably harvest some of that up. And I keep thinking I hear a small bird, which would make Tisha so happy. Because one of the things Tisha actually really, really wants to do, and she hasn't been able to do, is catch a snake or a bird or an insect. She wants to be able to work on her zoologist skill at catching the minor pets. And that's not something we've been able to pull off. All right, Emma, are you happy? I can't tell if... Yeah, she's happy. Oh, hang out with Lyra. You guys, isn't that so sad? Emma is really missing her sister. Well, we'll go ahead and share a secret about missing her sister and maybe chat about that for a little while. So I'm going to have these two chit chat for a while. I hear a bird. Where is it? I want to catch it. I really want to catch it. You know, what we might have to do for Tisha is actually get a stray cat and have Tisha have a stray cat who could help her catch all of the minor pets that she needs to complete her lifetime wish. Because at this rate, we're not finding any of them. And there should be a ton of them around here. My favorite food is peanut butter <laughs> and banana sandwich. Fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. And Terry is just getting so fit. He is just 100% dedicated to this right now. <gasps> Basil! Congratulations, buddy! You just got level 10 on the hunting skill. Fantastic. And you are just like climbing right in this. He seems really happy. I think the dogs are happy to come to the park for the day. Is Nissa happy? Nissa! Where are you? Are you like, I think she's scrounging around. Oh, I totally forgot there's even tents over here. That just slipped my mind completely. But I think she's scrounging around. Found something interesting. Nissa, you need to go back up. So I think she found a feather. <laughs> You need to go back up and hang out with the family, Nissa. Oh, there's a ghost chili bush and a potato vine here. Come on, Nissa. Did you find another spot to dig something down here? Well, as long as she's having a good time, too. Oh, and she wants to become best friends with Terry. We'll send her back up to hang out with everybody in just a second. Terry! Terry! Did you, like, overdo it? Are you about to faint? Oh, my gosh. Terry, come over here. Can you can you go ahead and, like, use this tent? Is that an option? Can you nap somewhere? Is he about to pass out? <laughs> okay, you guys, can I have him just like relax and see if that does anything? I didn't know that he was going to just just pass out like that. And Tisha is going ahead and doing some of her homework. Apparently, she ate a coffee bean without my permission, so I have no idea. Why are you doing your homework? You already, I'm pretty sure your homework is already 100% completed, Emma. Oh, it's only 44% completed. And Nissa just found a rock. So we'll bring Nissa over in a minute. But yeah, I put a whole bunch of spawners down here. And I'm not seeing a single one of the animals showing up. So I'm beginning to think that the only way we will ever be able to actually 
<laughs> managed to get some of the minor pets is by getting a cat, a stray cat, and bringing it into the family, and then letting Tisha work with her stray cat to be able to get the minor pets. So that's going to have to be something we'll think about in the future. Is that a piranha? Is that a piranha? I think that's a piranha. That's a piranha. Those are sharks and piranhas in my lake. I don't know why. I don't want my child playing in this lake anymore. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Now let's bring Tisha over here so that she can go ahead and hang out with Emma a little bit more. And is Terry getting some relaxation from this? He's happy. But he's definitely exhausted. Well, that's just silly. I'm actually going to pull his energy up a little bit because I think that's ridiculous <laughs> to let him pass out right here. And I want them to have a nice day. Come on, Nissa. Let's bring her back. I want them to have a really nice day here at the park. I thought this tent was supposed to work, but I guess this tent needs to be like in their inventory to be set up. So I'll remember that. Terry, you can come over. And you can take an extreme nap in a little bit. So yeah, I'm sorry. Normally I don't cheat, but that's just ridiculous. I'm just going to wake him up enough to maybe get him down to the tent. Because then I'll feel bad about cheating if I don't do that. Because we are we are playing a bit of a challenge. So Nissa, you can come up. Or I guess Nissa, since we're coming down, <laughs> you can go ahead. In fact, that might be fun to have them come down to eat here for their lunch. Why not? I wanted them to eat up there, but this is fine too. I'm going to let Nissa take a little nap and then we'll bring Basil down and he can, uh, is he still sniffing out collectibles? He is adamant about this. Oh, and then we're trying to fish. Tisha just like immediately tried to do some fishing, which is pretty fun, but Emma is getting hungry. So let's send everybody, just like everybody down here. And we'll see how that goes. Terry, you can come on down and you can do some extreme, extreme napping. Let's get him down here. I'll go ahead and decrease his energy again because I feel bad for cheating. <laughs> I'm pretty strict with myself when it comes to playing. All right, let's bring everybody over. It's nap time because you guys, you guys are not living it up on the edge like I thought you would. We're going to go ahead and light a fire. And then hopefully, there you go, Terry. He's going to have a little nap in the tent. Emma can come on over. I'm going to have her sit down. Apparently, she's having a good time. Oh, and there's something over here, too. What is this? Oh, it's an onion plant. Oh, and if we need the grill, there's a grill over here. What a fun little campsite. This has been in our world for literally as long as we've been playing. And I've just never, I've just never tried it before. So we could roast all sorts of things. Is there like an onion? I love onions. Oh, there's a potato. Let's roast a potato. So we'll roast a potato. And Emma can roast... Does she have a potato? Emma can go ahead and roast a marshmallow. And she can have a roasted marshmallow to eat here in the middle of the afternoon. I think that they'll... I think that they'll have a good time with that. Oh, that's actually really sweet, you guys. Look at them bind. Aww. Nice little leisure day bonding. And Nissa gets a moment to rest. I'm going to have her nap a lot. Oh, what's going on? Wake up and take care of yourself then, Vinegar. Vinegar we need to take care of too. We're going to spend days where we just take care of the stray animals as well, which might be next time because they really do need some attention. We do not start a pet rescue just to forget about the pets like the next second. So Nissa, you go ahead. You'll, you, we can feed you some treats in a minute to feed you. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. He's free She's freaking out over random things. We need Basil here. There's Basil! Basil, right in time. You go ahead, nuzzle your mate because she's freaking out a little bit for no reason. Probably because Tisha burned her potato. I'm sorry, Tisha. It's probably not going to be very good now. Good luck. I wish that they could chit chat while they're sitting next to each other. I'm so used to Sims 4 where they, they talk all the time. Uh, roast something, poke fire, put out fire. Can we can we talk? Yeah, we can chat while we're sitting side by side and like compliment. Because I think Tish is gr growing really close to Emma because she feels like all the other kids have kind of either grown up or she's not really let near them. Like Tobias, what just happened here? Hi! Okay, a herd of wild horses just ran past. Well, that was a lot more exciting than I thought that was going to be. And then Nissa and Basil are very happy. Nissa is pretty hungry, so we might have her... She's just barking with Basil. <laughs> They're so sweet with each other. I think that they make a good pair. They're almost 100% relationship, too. But I'll send Tisha over, and we'll have her uh, sniff at... Or Nissa, I'll have Nissa sniff at Tisha in just a second and beg for some food. And meanwhile, these two 
are trying to communicate, even though Tish's breath is like coffee breath right now. What's this? Feeling anxious about the fireplace. Oh, so she's worried about the kid being near the fireplace. Don't worry. Emma's a good kid. She takes good care of herself. Emma, why don't you go ahead? Um, can you just like, we're going to have her just eat this apple while we wait. She can just have a straight up apple this way. Basil found something special at some point. He's playing. Oh, look at them play together. They really are such a cute little pair. Well, this isn't quite how I thought our really fun vacation day was going to go. Doing homework together. But I guess that's kind of cool that Tish is pretty stern about making sure that homework is continued. And Nissa, we need to take good care of her because she's expecting her puppies. So I'm going to go ahead and let her use the restroom over here. And then Tish is going to come over here. Tish can go ahead and harvest these potatoes while we're here. I love how this town has so many little mini gardens everywhere. That definitely gives me some inspiration for a unicorn challenge, actually. And yes, I did say unicorn challenge. <laughs> I have lots and lots and lots of plans. I keep telling you guys, so many plans. Why are you going? You can eat a seed. I don't think you should go eat a seed, Nissa. I really don't think you should. <laughs> All right, we're gonna send Nissa back over and she'll ask for Terry. She'll ask food from Terry instead since um, Tish has actually gotten distracted. All right, and Terry had a little nap. Hopefully he's feeling good. Emma, did you finish your homework? Emma has finished her homework, huzzah! And she can take care of her other needs here at this little campsite. All right, Terry, guess what? Nissa, actually Nissa does want to be best friends with Terry and that could add in to some of that boost. So hopefully we can make her super happy. Let's work on making her super, super happy. Uh, walk home, bathe pet, play. Uh, let's go ahead and care. Let's give her a little brush. Yeah, and he actually wants to be best friends with Nissa too. Whoa, Terry, when did you get so many points? Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna be able to do something really special with all of those points. How am I gonna use those lifetime happiness points? I'm going to have to think about that. I think I think we're going to have to start using some of those. So let's see. Affection. Let's go ahead and feed her a couple treats because she definitely needs some food for sure. She's getting hungry. And she's expecting babies. And we'll have to rub her belly because she's expecting those babies too. But what should we give Terry? So Tisha, Meredith, their siblings. They have a lot more points than I thought they did. Terry. Now Terry... Hmm. Oh, and he wants to play tug of war with Nissa. That's so sweet. So let's see. Terry, I think I would give him important things to do with the animals. Um, and maybe something to do. I'm a little surprised, but maybe something to do with sort of feeling um a little bit like nobody can push you around. In, hmm, in mindset, careers more quickly. Well, he's kind of self-employed. Be better at your job and homework without any additional part uh, effort on your part. Maybe next big thing, never dull. Uh, raised by wolves, gain more social fulfillment from interacting with pets. I feel like Tobias should have that just from, just from the basics. And I won't do the no bills ever because I think that that's kind of fun to have a challenge of having to pay the bills. Personal hygiene concerns and frequent bathing rarely trouble the dirt defiant. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that so that he could do all of his work. I, I think that that would actually be a really good thing to give him. And then I also want to give him out of everything that he can get. Ah, uh, da 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 da. There's animal expert. Can't seem to ever get tired of your pets. This reward makes it so cats, dogs, and horses live much longer. Pets kept in terrarium and birds are also less likely to die. Now this would be really cool to get as like a reward for a veterinarian as well. Coming back to that vet idea I had earlier. But I think it's perfect for Terry too. And the other thing I kind of wanted to give him at some point, other than the hygiene one too, um is where is it where is it the collection helper oh it's forty thousand. so the collection helper allows us to figure out where collectibles are on the map and i kind of wanted to have terry get that so that he could give it to tisha because it's an item and once you have it in the family you can keep it in the family for ages and then you can use it to find all of the collectibles that you're looking for in the world but i actually think it would be more interesting to leave that so that it's actually tisha's job to find that and to give the Sims only things that are related to their needs and their interest. So I think I'm going to stick to that instead. So that means I'm actually going to give him, out of everything that we have so far, where did the animal one go? Hmm. Because I think 
if it's, that was deliberate, no, raised by wolves, more social fulfillment. Now that one seems like a required thing to you <laughs> as well. Um, and Tisha would probably love the super green thumb, but I think animal expert would be really good. And then I also want to get the hygiene one if we can. So there we go. I did it. It was kind of hard, but I did it. All right, let's see. Bookseller. Because I really wanted to get the collection item and give it... Yeah, Dirt Defiant. There we go. That should help him out in the future with all of his rock climbing. Because Terry is a daredevil, so I think he would love doing some rock climbing. So let's feed this and make sure that she is okay. But we have uh, we have babies on the way, you guys. We have baby puppies incoming. And I'm pretty excited about that. All right, come on, feed her. Feed her. Feed your dog. <laughs> please feed your dog a treat. Will you please feed her? Here, affection, feed treat. Come on. There we go. Now he's working on it. Oh, he wants to play fetch with her. That's so sweet. What's this? A master Arab? <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not going to become an acrobat. All right. And meanwhile, Tisha wants to grow a potato vine. Where's Emma? Oh, I forgot Emma had a sketch pad. That's so cute. So she's kind of entertaining herself by just working with her little sketch pad over there. That's really, really sweet. I wish I had something that I could give her that levels up her logic as she wanders around. So, hmm, I'll have to look into to seeing if there's something that can, like, level up logic in a mobile area. Or maybe we'll just, like, put some... Oh, look at this! They're BFFs! Huzzah! Or maybe we'll just put some telescopes elsewhere, but there we go! So Terry and Tisha, watch a wild horse. <laughs> Terry wanted to go after that wild horse. That's really fun. If, if we had managed to have him awake when they came by, I probably would have done it. So they want to play fetch now. And we should probably take her home, though, so she can eat the food. Eat the food and be well fed. And she's only about 1,100-ish points away from being able to have the fertility treatment. So, you guys, I need puppy names. I need lots and lots of puppy names because I think Nissa is going to have lots of puppies. And Basil just went home without us. That's so rude, Basil. But between Basil and Nissa both having fertility treatment, we just may get a lot out of this very first litter that these two are going to give us. So, all right. Looks like everybody's starting to head home, even though I've and trying to keep them here and keep them playing so all right i guess that's the end of today see a game at the stadium when did this start that actually seems like something really cool for terry terry's starting to show interest in things other than just keeping the family from falling apart that's actually a really good thing for his personal development yay so we'll have to send everybody home and then i think next time we'll have terry and tisha spend some of the day over at the animal rescue with all of the animals and we may even have meredith participate in that too not sure because i kind of want meredith to really get pretty close to vinegar I want Meredith and Vinegar to really, really like each other because I think, oh, Vinegar, were you trying to be a good little puppy and dig up a rare rock or were you just trying to be a little troublemaker and dig up the rose garden? It kind of looks like it could go either way. It really does. <laughs> But all right, you guys, we'll have to see what adventures these guys get up to next time. And don't forget, once we have the birth of this next litter, then we will actually be taking a season break and we won't be dragging things out anymore because Meredith is going to hit the town quite literally with Tobias and possibly Vinegar if they become friends before that. Andrea will probably just stick around being a painter. And Emma, hmm, we'll have to see what's happening with Lyra over at Lunar Lakes. And Emma... When we come back, we'll probably be old enough. Yeah, she ages up pretty soon. So once Emma, Emma ages up, then she's going to go on a worldwide tour, a search looking for her parents. So we'll have to see if she finds them or evidence of what happened to them. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.